Burt Show. Some of you guys are just assuming that the teachers that are teaching your kids are just there from what? They get there 6.30 in the morning or 7 in the morning, then uh, school is over at 2, 3 o'clock, and that's it. That's the end of their day right there. You're so wrong. I feel like there are certain jobs everybody should have to do for one day. Everybody should have to be a server for a day. Everybody should have to be a nurse for a day. Everybody should have to be a police officer for a day. Everybody Told should have to be a teacher for a day. Toll booth operator. Okay. Mm. If you uh, think that's important. Walmart greeter. If you think that's important. Uh, Jiffy Lou. If you think that's important. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, work that ticket counter over at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. That, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> or Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Dave and Buster's. Yep. <laughs> Any one of those. Yep. Um, so a teacher last week, uh, late in the week, really wanted to stress for those that don't know what teachers are doing, not only inside the class, but you might not be aware of what they're doing outside of the classroom. So on a Monday morning, hopefully this makes some of you teachers feel good and some of us and some of you guys really understand what she's saying here. Today, I taught for six periods and I subbed on my planning. I helped a young man find safe housing. I found a winter coat for a girl who didn't have one. I located a, mis- a student's missing backpack and arranged for a replacement Chromebook for that student. I gave a student a little bit of cash for a haircut and made sure another student had enough food to last them through the weekend. Spent four hours lesson planning, fun, inviting, exciting lesson plans that could, at the drop of a hat, need to go virtual without any warning. I don't want a single accolade. No teacher I know wants a pat on the back or gratitude. What they do need is grace. I want you to know in your child's school, 30 to 50 teachers and support staff did that today. And we'll do it again tomorrow. It's what we signed up for, it's what we love, it's what makes us fulfilled. It's also why we're tired. Just keep that in mind. Just asking for some grace, people. That's it. (laughs) Just keep that in mind before you shoot that letter out to the teacher because Mm -hmm. your kid came home with some kind of one-sided story that makes the teacher look crappy. Just remember that today. But they get the entire summer off. Right. (laughs) They're off work at 2 p.m. Right, right. No. (laughs) All right, it is that time of year again, Kristen. Uh Uh-huh. My neighbor's daughter came a-knocking at my door. It's Girl Scout cookie time. Oh. Oh. her to sing this song. She had no idea what it was. <laughs> <laughs> of course I didn't, because I'm not like that. Do the song. Do the song. I'm not buying any cookies unless you sing me the song. You know there's a new cookie this year. There is. It looks amazing. You guys hear about this? No. I just looked it up. New again. cookie dropped? Mm-hmm. New cookie dropped. New cookie. <laughs> With a new cookie <laughs> New <roll>. cookie alert. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure Fools, an indulgent brownie-inspired cookie with caramel-flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. A damn. <laughs> <laughs> and a dash of damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, do other cookies get sent to the graveyard when a new one arrives? I don't know. I think there have been some retired over the years, but from what I could see, all the OGs were there. Because okay. I got the Samoas, <laughs> I got the Thin Mints, I even got a gluten-free one because I'm going to ship it to my friend who moved away who's gluten-free, and I got some of those as well. Okay, so you you were thinking it was the circle of life, like once, yeah, one yeah. is born, one dies. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At least cookie initiation or something. Yes. You, don't, yeah. you don't just get to become a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> <laughs> got to work for it. Yeah. Wouldn't it be brownie? fun to work in the Girl Scout cookie kitchen and like try, because you know, they go through all kinds of different trials to come you know, like come yeah. up with these recipes and new cookies. And so you just get there and get to try recipes all day, every day, eating cookies, trying to find the right one to add to the mix. It's not a bad way to make a living. I didn't think so either. All right, so um, we have a tradition here on The Burt Show when it's Girl Scout cookie season, and we implore Girl Scouts to call in and pitch us, and we buy cookies for them. We're not doing it today. This is appointment setting. Tomorrow at this time. So you've got 24 hours to get your pitches ready. And this is not for the adults. This is for the kids. Yes. The kids make their own pitch. Exactly. The girls make their own pitches. So you call, and how much money are we spending this year? How much are we willing to buy? 
and Girl Scout cookies? Um, we are willing to spend two hundred fifty dollars on Girl Scout. That's a lot of money. That's a lot mm. of boxes. That's gonna, yeah, it'll put you right to the top of your right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it will. All right, so two hundred fifty dollars worth of cookies tomorrow. But we want to give you some inspiration as to what your pitches should sound like. So this was two years ago because, as you remember, last year there was kind of a fiasco. There was. Uh, we tried to do this last year, but we did it before the cookies actually went on sale. <laughs> so no Girl Scouts called in because nobody was selling cookies. <laughs> so this year, I, I saw them on the corner. It's a deeply this researched show. <laughs> they, it really is. They're selling them yeah. right now. I, I saw was, them on the corner. When I had, she knocked on my door and I was yeah. like, cookies. I'm like, okay, we can do it. We can I, do this. Segment. I had to have visual proof this year. Yeah. I am pretty sure I was bamboozled or almost bamboozled by a Girl Scouts mom last week in my neighborhood. As I was walking my dog, mom pulls over to the side of the road. They wanted to pet the dog, but daughter walks out with the Girl Scout sheet in her hands. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Slick. I saw Mm -hmm. it. So this is from two years ago, 2020, and Davi had the honor of telling the winner they won, but she also (laughs) had the displeasure of telling the little girls that she wasn't buying their cookies. This was Charlotte. In her quick pitch. I'm 10 years old. I'm part of True 884. Davi, you're one of my favorite people on the Burt Show. I listen to you every morning mm-hmm. on the radio with my mom, oh, nice. even though it's not that appropriate <laughs> for me. We have one new cookie this year that replaced a cookie that wasn't selling that well last year. We have Lemon Up, a crispy lemon cookie that has inspiring messages written on it to lift your spirit. So that was Charlotte. <laughs> this was Lillian. Now keep in Lillian, mind, how old are you? Keep what? in mind again that Davi not only has to tell the person that we're buying the cookies, but she has to tell these darling little girls that, hey, you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cookies for you. <laughs> right, this was Lillian's pitch. Lillian, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old, and you are representing what Girl Scout troop in what city? Um, 18585 in Canton, Georgia. I need 250 boxes so I can go have a sleepover at the aquarium. My favorite cookies are Women Up, Guess Like Dolly. I would love your support. <laughs> I will go up your support. Oh, I don't want to hear what I said. I want to hear the crushing no, blow. I, I want to hear the crushing no. blow. All right, so there was Cadence also, but this is Davi uh, going over the winner and the losers. You got Cadence, you got Lillian, you've got Charlotte. Who would you like me to pick up first? We're going from no, no to yes. Third place is, is Cadence. Cadence. Cadence? Hi. Hi. Go ahead, Davi. Hi, Cadence. Thank you for listening and calling the Burt Show this morning. We were so happy to have you on, and we're so happy you're part of the Burt Show family. And you had a really great pitch. That's all I'm saying. Not making it any better. I feel like your pitch could have been, it was like a 7. It could have been a 10. Wow. So I'm so sorry. (laughs) But I'm going to have to disappoint you today, and I'm not getting your cookies. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Go. Oh, no. Hello, Lillian. Oh. Hi. Oh. 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 You sound so confident. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to wreck it. I'm going to wreck it. No. Okay. All right, Lillian. You're the coolest, and you want to know why? It's because we have so much in common. I am not going to be giving you $200 for cookies today. I'm sorry, Lillian, but you came in second place. You're first runner-up, but you're not getting the $200 today. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lillian. Oh. Yeah. Hey, can I buy one hundred dollars worth of cookies? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh God, two people on this show have a heart. Mm-hmm. And then there's Charlotte. Go ahead, Dobby. Oh, Charlotte. Okay. First off, she was very polite. Out of the gate, she knew her stuff. She is efficient. When we didn't know her name because Blake turned on us, mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. she very politely corrected you. Yes, she sure right? did. Yep. Very politely, you get an A plus 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 for. Con- complimenting me and saying I'm your favorite. You also get an A-plus on your jokes by saying, I love this show, even though it's not appropriate for me. And I know that is 100% my fault that your mom can't listen in the car with you. Uh, You told me about the Lemon Ups. You're very descriptive. You're just awesome in every way, Charlotte. And I even appreciate the city that is named after you. 
So you are getting $200 today for Girl Scout cookies from me, Davi from The Burt Show, because I'm your favorite, and I want to continue to be your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so tomorrow is when we will have the Girl Scouts call in, right? Correct. Now, who's going to be breaking hearts this year? That we have to figure out, don't we? Yes, um, we do. So what do we do? Just put Mo, names. have you done it? Yes, I have. Dobby's done it. I've done it. You've done it. <laughs> so is it going to be Romeo or Katie? Ooh. I think, has Romeo done it? No. No. And Katie hasn't done it. Oh, no. yeah. It's going to be one to you guys tomorrow. Oh, and Kaylee's pointing at himself. No, I'm not subjecting the Girl Scouts oh, to you. Oh, my yeah. God. Absolutely yeah. not. You're obscene. You've lost your ever-loving mind. <laughs> you think be. I'm going to let you talk to those Girl Scouts? <laughs> you wouldn't be excited to do <laughs> this. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Please. What is wrong with you? I want to wreck dreams. <laughs> I think we should have Kaylee do it tomorrow. <laughs> Why don't we put all three of their names before we do it tomorrow? Okay. We put all three in a hat. Whoever we pull out, that's who has to break Girl Scout hearts tomorrow. <laughs> okay. okay. But one Girl Scout's going to get $250 worth of cookies. That's yep. a lot. That is a lot. The Burt Show.